Papaganib is a very interesting new compound. It's a new class of drugs in oncology. It says sphingosine kinase 2 inhibitor. Uh, sphingolipids are a very important lipid molecules uh, that have profound biological effects on uh, cell growth and metabolism. Recent studies show that modulation of sphingolipids can have profound effects on cancer growth as well as uh, inflammation and immune function. There are other clinical trials looking at uh, immunologic effects as well as antiviral effects of Paganep, which is uh, one of the compounds that has been identified is, uh, as having activity in cancer. Sphingosine kinase 2, uh, which, which uh, results in inc increased levels of sphingosine 1-phosphate, so basically, sphingosine kinase increases the phosphorylation of, of sphingosine 1 molecule that results in the growth and metastasis of cancer cells, including, uh, including uh, castration-resistant prostate cancer cells. Uh, by inhibiting the sphingosine kinase 2 uh, enzyme, the levels of sphingosine 1 phosphate are decreased which can result in potential benefit, reducing the number of cancer cells and reducing metastasis, and also preventing resistance to uh, currently used uh, drugs such as abiraterone and enzalutamide. In vitro and uh, animal studies suggest that combination of opaganib with enzalutamide or abiraterone uh, has significant effect in metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. And based on that preliminary preclinical data, uh, we have started a clinical trial, phase one, two clinical trial of apaganep in patients with castration-resistant prostate cancer who are not responding to enzalutamide or abiraterone. So these are patients who have already been on enzalutamide and abiraterone. Uh, most of them have responded, but are no longer responding with increasing PSA levels, increasing disease in, in the bone scan or other scans. Uh, these patients uh, are entered on this clinical trial. The primary endpoint uh, is um, disease control which includes stable disease as well as clinical response with decreased PSA levels and improvement in, in scans. That's our primary endpoint. Uh, secondary endpoints include quality of life, overall survival, uh, uh, and uh, response uh, by resist criteria. We are also uh, looking at circulating tumor cells to, to measure certain biomarkers, such as clones of cells with uh, uh, ARV7 variant, and also uh, measuring myeloid-derived suppressor cells, which have been found to be modulated. Uh, those are uh, secondary endpoints. Currently, the study is still going on. There will be 30 patients entered on the enzalutamide arm and 30 patients on the abiraterone arm. We are almost uh, halfway uh, through. We hope to finish the study by the end of this year.